West Lafayette, Indiana, Markel Jones scored on a 12-yard run with 117 left, and Elijah Sindler rallied Purdue twice, once before a heavy storm delayed Saturday's game and once after, to beat Minnesota 31-17. Sindler replaced David Blow in the first half and had the best game of his career. He finished 19 of 26 with a career-high 248 yards and one touchdown. And he helped make Jeff Brome's first Big Ten win with the Boilermakers, 3-2, 1-1, a memorable one. The game was delayed for one hour, 28 minutes after rain and lightning moved into the area, just moments after Purdue made a 19-yard field goal to take a 16-14 lead with 9.58 left in the fourth quarter. When play resumed, the Golden Gophers, 3-2, 0-2, took more than seven one-half minutes off the clock and took a 17-16 lead on Emmett Carpenter's 38-yard field goal. It didn't last long. Four plays after DJ Knox's 44-yard kickoff return, Jones faked out a defender on a run around the right side cut inside and jogged in for the go-ahead score. Jawan Bentley sealed it with a 76-yard interception return with 11 seconds left. The first weather delay at Raw Sade Stadium since September 8, 2007, wasn't the only oddity. Minnesota forced four turnovers in the first half and ran for 227 yards but couldn't put the game away. Instead, after converting their first two takeaways into touchdowns to take a 14-6 halftime lead, they stalled. That kept Purdue in the game, and eventually the Boilermakers took advantage. Sindler started the second half by throwing a 22-yard TD pass to Knox to make it 14-13. He had the Boilermakers in position to take the lead late in the third too, but kicker Spencer Evans missed a 52-yard attempt wide left. When Sindler got his next chance, he drove the Boilermakers to the Minnesota 2, setting up J.D. Dellinger's short field goal. Moments later, players and coaches were instructed to clear the field and once they were gone, fans streamed down the stadium steps and scrambled across the field and even onto the playing surface as they looked for shelter. Some made it before the deluge of rain. Many were drenched. The victory came on the same day Purdue honored Joe Tiller, its career leader in wins. Tiller died the previous Saturday in Wyoming.